Hello everyone! For today, we will be learning about illustrating quadratic equations. A quadratic equation is an equation in one variable in which the highest exponent is 2 and it can be written in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should never be equal to 0. AX squared is considered as the quadratic term. BX is considered as the linear term. While C is considered as the constant term. Now, there are two classifications of quadratic equations. The first one is a complete equation where A, B, and C have values. An example, 2X squared minus 4X plus 5 equals 0. The second classification is an incomplete equation where only two coefficients are not equal to zero. There are two possible cases in this. The first one is when b is equal to zero, so meaning the linear term is not present. An example, 2x squared minus 7 equals zero. The second case is when c is equal to 0, so meaning the constant term is not present. An example is x squared plus 6x equals 0. Now, this one are examples of non-quadratic equations. Let's identify the reasons how come all of this five are considered as non-quadratic equation. Number one, this is not quadratic, it's because the highest exponent is 3. The second example, this is not quadratic equation, it's because the exponent is negative 2. And number 3, this is not quadratic, it's because the value for A is 0. And number 4, this is not quadratic, it's because the variables are different and for number five this is not quadratic it's because the highest exponent is one now going back a quadratic equation is it should have a single variable number two the degree is two and number three a should never be zero now, given this complete equation, x squared minus 3x plus 9 equals 0. In this case, the value for a is 1. The value for b is negative 3. And the value for c is 9. Another example. If a is negative 3, b is 4, and c is 8. Identify the quadratic equation. In this case, the answer is negative 3x squared plus 4x plus 8 equals 0. Now, in this case, rewrite this to standard form and identify the values for a, b, and c. Now, take note, in the standard form, it should be written in the order quadratic term, linear term, then constant. For number 1, let's rewrite this in that way. So with this, we can rewrite this to negative 2x squared plus 3x, then transfer 7 to the other side would become negative 7. In this case, the value for a would be negative 2. The value for b is positive 3, and the value for c is negative 7. Another example. In this case, this are two binomials. So to do this, we will use the FOIL method. So in this case, x times x is x squared, x times 4 is 4x, and 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 4 is 12. Next, combine 4x and 3x. So therefore, we will have x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. In this case, it is already in the standard form. With this, our value for A is 1. Our value for B is 7. And the value for C is 12. Another example. In this case, 
This is squaring a binomial. To do this, square the first, which is x squared. Multiply the first, the second term, and 2, so it's negative 8x. And square the second term, which is positive 16 plus 8 equals 0. Combining 16 and 8, that will become 24. So therefore, the standard form is x squared minus 8x plus 24 equals 0. Therefore, the value for a is 1. The value for b is negative 8. And the value for c is 24. Now, Let's have a real-life example involving illustrating quadratic equations. Let's have this. Mrs. Asinto asked a carpenter to construct a rectangular bulletin board for her classroom. She told the carpenter that the board's area must be 18 square feet. Number 1. What are the possible dimensions of the bulletin board? So take note that the condition is that the area of the board is 18 square feet. So one possible dimensions could be 6 feet by 3 feet. It's because 6 times 3, the result is 18. Another possible dimensions could be 9 feet by 2 feet. It's because 9 times 2, it's still 18. And the third possible dimension is 18 feet by 1 foot. Because 18 times 1, the result is still 18 square feet. Now, how is illustrating quadratic equation applied to this? An example. Suppose the length of the board is 7 feet longer than its width. What equation would represent the given situation? In this example, the width has no condition. So let's have the width as x. Now take note that the length is 7 feet longer than its width. So therefore, the length would become x plus 7. And take note, the area of a rectangle is length times width. And the area here is given as 18 square feet. So therefore, the width is x and the length is x plus 7 equals 18. So this is the representation of this situation in quadratic form. Or we can simplify this further to x squared plus 7x minus 18 equals 0. Now let's have another example. Illustrate the following situations using a mathematical sentence. The length of a swimming pool is 8 meters longer than its width, and the area is 105 meters squared. Now take note in this example, the width has no condition. So therefore, let x be equal to the width. And the length is 8 meters longer than the width. So therefore, x plus 8 would be the length. And area is the length times width. So therefore, it's x times x plus 5 is equal to 105. Or we can still simplify this to x squared plus 8x minus 105 equals 0. Let's have another example. The sum of two numbers is 12, and their product is 20. In this case, we will have let x be one number. And take note that the sum of two numbers is 12. So x plus a number is 12. So to get the other number would simply be 12 minus x, and that's the other number. And take note that their product is 20. So therefore, x times 12 minus x is equal to 20. Distributing x to the terms inside, we will end up with negative x squared plus 12x minus 20 equals 0. 
Now, what if you are asked to solve for the value of x? How are you going to do it? We will answer this with our next video. Thank you.